Nazi Germany was a type of the Great Tribulation. Another historical event may give us an even greater understanding of the Antichrist and the Great Tribulation. The spirit of Antichrist is constantly preparing for the arrival of the Antichrist, just like the Holy Spirit is constantly preparing for the arrival of Jesus Christ. I believe Adolf Hitler was a type of the Antichrist. World War II and the events leading up to the war also seem to be a type of the Great Tribulation. The first three and one half years. On March 12, 1938, Germany forcefully annexed Austria. The next day, on March 13, 1938, the Nazis immediately begin to persecute the Jews in Austria. If we date World War II from this date, the actual starting date of Nazi Germany's military aggression, and we count to the end of the war in Europe on May 8, 1945, we arrive at approximately seven years of war. Seven is a very important number for Christians and Jews. Seven is the number of perfection and completion. Romans 2, 9. Tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil of the Jew first, and also of the Gentile. The Nazis incrementally made life intolerable for Jews under their authority with a series of anti-Semitic laws. The Nazis made laws taking away German citizenship and basic rights from all Jews, including the right to bear arms within all German-controlled territory. At first, the Jews were encouraged to immigrate from Nazi territory. However, approximately three and one-half years into the war, the Jews were physically prevented from immigrating because a homicidal spirit, Satan, began to motivate Hitler, and he became determined to exterminate all the Jews in Europe. There is that three and one-half years mentioned in the Bible again and again. It was not an exact fulfillment of prophecy, but it was awfully close. Revelation 6, 2, And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. A rapid series of events allows the Nazis to control the fate of nearly every Jew in Europe. On September 29, 1938, the Munich Agreement forced the Czechoslovak Republic to cede the Sudetenland to Nazi Germany. When Hitler could not achieve his aims by peaceful methods, he turned to war. Revelation 6, 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Nazi Germany unleashed its Blitzkrieg in September of 1939. Blitzkrieg meaning lightning war. Blitzkrieg was an innovative military technique based on speed and surprise. Light tanks moved quickly to occupy enemy territory while being supported by infantry, fighter planes, and soldiers fortified with large amounts of methamphetamine. Germany invaded Poland on September 1, 1939, and England and France declared war on Germany to honor their guarantee of Poland's borders. In April of 1940, Germany invaded Denmark and Norway. Denmark surrendered the same day while Norway held out until June 9. In May of 1940, Germany then attacked Western Europe and quickly occupied Luxembourg, the Netherlands, and Belgium. Within a few weeks, all these countries surrendered. After a brief resistance, France surrendered and signed an armistice with Germany in June of 1940. In less than a year, Nazi Germany and its Axis allies controlled most of Europe. In every country occupied and controlled by Nazi Germany, Jews were identified with a J on their identification papers and all Jewish males from age 14 to 60 were used for forced labor by the Third Reich. Jewish ghettos were created in the large cities and Jewish families were separated from the general population. For approximately three and one half years from March 11, 1938, when Hitler's armies occupy Austria through the summer of 1941, it appeared that Nazi Germany and its Axis allies were unstoppable. In June of 1941, Nazi Germany and its Axis allies invade the Soviet Union and capture Smolensk in August. They laid siege to Leningrad in September and were attacking Moscow by October. German and Romanian troops also capture and overran Kiev by September of 1941. The second three and one half years. In the middle of September 1941, Zyklon B was tested at the Auschwitz concentration camp. Construction of mass extermination facilities began in September of 1941 
to implement Hitler's final solution for the murder of all European Jews. In October of 1941, mass deportation of Jews to extermination camps in the East began. A frenzy of killing begins that eventually kills 6,000 Jews and nearly 6,000 other people considered undesirables by the Nazi pairing, like gypsies, communists, the mentally ill, dissidents, and all other people who attempted to resist the Nazis' program. The systematic murder of millions of people was called the Holocaust. The word Holocaust is derived from the Greek holocauston, a translation of the Hebrew word ola, meaning a burnt sacrifice offered whole to God. According to the book of 2 Peter, there will be another fiery destruction at the second coming of Jesus Christ. 2 Peter 3, 5. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. 2 Peter 3, 6. Whereby the world that then was, being overflowed with water, perished. 2 Peter 3, 7. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. It appears that the beginning of the Holocaust was the moment that the invincible Nazi juggernaut was at the peak of its success, but then the tide rapidly began to turn. In December of 1941, a Soviet counteroffensive forced the Germans to retreat from Moscow. On December 7, 1941, Japan bombs Pearl Harbor and the United States declared war on Japan, entering the war. In May of 1942, the British began bombing Cologne, Germany. And over the next three years, British and American bombing reduces Germany to rubble and ashes. In rapid succession, German armies began to suffer defeat after defeat at the hands of the Allied armies. In October of 1942, British troops defeat the Germans and Italians at El Alamein in Egypt. In November of 1942, a Soviet counterattack trapped the German 6th Army in Stalingrad and the German 6th Army surrender in February of 1943. In May of 1943, Axis forces surrendered in Tunisia, ending the North African campaign. By mid-August, the Allies controlled Sicily. In November of 1943, Soviet troops captured Kiev. In June of 1944, Allied troops captured Rome. On June 6, 1944, Allied troops landed at Normandy, France. In August of 1944, Free French troops and the Allied troops entered Paris. By January 1, 1945, the German and Axis armies were in full retreat on all fronts. At the end of January 1945, the Nazis began forced death marches from the concentration camps as they fled the Allied forces. Auschwitz was liberated on April 15, 1945. Approximately three and one-half years from the beginning of the mass extermination of Jews in the middle of September 1941, Adolf Hitler committed suicide in April of 1945 and Germany surrendered unconditionally on May 8, 1945. The survivors of the concentration camps were finally set free. This timeline may be familiar to students of Bible prophecy. A seven-year campaign led by a madman with the last three and one-half years ending in a frenzied mass murder of millions of human beings. The Antichrist is going to be like Adolf Hitler, but on steroids, and he will receive authority for a brief three and one-half year period of time that Jesus called the time of Great Tribulation. Revelation 13, 5, And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. Revelation 13, 6, And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, and them that dwell in heaven. Revelation 13, 7, And it was given unto him to make war with the saints, and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. Revelation 13, 8, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. A few of the Jews in Germany and Europe foresaw what was going to happen and they were able to escape the death camps of Nazi Germany. However, most went blindly to their death without putting up a struggle or even trying to escape. I suspect most Christians will also go into the Antichrist death camps without putting up any kind of resistance.
mostly because the devil has been very successful planting his tares among the wheat. The false pastors and false prophets are earnestly promoting the idea that the church will never have to suffer or go through tribulation, disregarding 2,000 years of history and a plethora of Bible verses that specifically warn us not to be deceived. Mark 13, 4 tell us, When shall these things be? And what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? Mark 13, 5 And Jesus answering them began to say, Take heed, lest any man deceive you. Mark 13, 6 For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. One of the main signs of the last day deceiver is their promise of peace and safety. 1 Thessalonians 5.3 For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. I hope the viewers of my videos will not be deceived. It is time to start preparing, physically, mentally, and above all spiritually. Time is very short. If you find these videos educational, please like and subscribe. Have a great week. Thanks.